Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this session is for quick revision of AC to DC power converters for the subject power devices and circuits. First part, single phase half wave control rectifier, HWCR, half wave control rectifier with R load, that is with resistive load. Now, see, I have made a detailed video for every topic. Ke liye. As far as this quick revision is concerned, I will be telling you certain tricks how to remember the waveforms and related uh, diagrams because there are a lot of waveforms and a lot of uh, circuit diagrams. So, first part is HWCR half wave control rectifier it is also called half wave converter with resistive load this is simple circuit diagram at the input side we are applying single phase AC supply this is SCR and this is the load where we have connected resistance because heading is with R load that is with resistive load now about the working we know that V in is pure sinusoidal voltage. That means V in is input voltage. We are going to apply a sine wave. We know the standard reading. This is positive half cycle, negative half cycle. This is 0 pi, 2 pi. And after 2 pi, again cycle repeats. We know the basic thing. Whenever SCR is forward bashed, it will not start conducting until you will apply the gate pulse. So this waveform, this diagram indicates the instant at which we are going to apply the gate pulses. So let us say alpha is a firing angle at which we are going to apply the gate pulses. So during the positive half cycle, yaha pe plus hoga, yaha pe minus hoga. that means SCR will be forward bashed, but it will be in forward blocking mode from 0 to alpha, ye value alpha ka hai. At alpha, we are going to apply the gate pulse. So after that, the actual conduction of SCR starts. So refer this output diagram that is VL, load voltage diagram. <clears throat> so just like I have told, 0 to alpha, ke beech mein, the SCR will be in forward blocking mode. Alpha to pi, where the positive uh, half cycle is, until the conduction hoga, so SCR will uh, be conducting from alpha to pi. Then after pi, negative half cycle starts. During negative half cycles, the polarities will be changed. This is minus, this is plus. And in that case, SCR will not be uh, forward bashed. So SCR will act as a closed switch. Again, at 2 pi, positive half cycle starts. That means SCR uh, will be in forward blocking mode from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha. Because again, at angle alpha after 2 pi, we are going to apply the gate pulse. So again, conduction starts. This is the corresponding waveform of output voltage. Same kind of waveform you will get for the output current because current is voltage divided by resistance. Now, the mathematical analysis, these are the two important formulae. So V0 average, you can well write this as VDC or V average is 1 by 2 pi alpha to pi. Up her case may derivation say yad kaise rakna hai. Uh, we are considering one full cycle, so we are taking average, so it is 1 by 2 pi. Integration will be alpha to pi because look at this diagram, conduction, actual conduction of SCR is from alpha to pi. So limits of integration are alpha to pi, Vm sin theta d theta. In this case, in, in place of this equation, I can well write Vm sin omega t d omega t because theta is same as omega t. Then second is the equation of average voltage. So this is sorry, this is equation of RMS voltage that is VRMS. So it is 1 by 2 pi integration alpha to pi Vm square sin square theta d theta and we are supposed to take the square root so back bracket raised to 1 half. This is root mean square value that is VRMS and first is the value of VDC or V average. These are the corresponding waveforms. Ye first type ho gaya. If the question is generalized question like uh, explain what is the control rectifier you can well draw this diagram why it is called a control rectifier because you can well change the value of alpha that means you can well uh, control this conduction of scr so it is the controlled rectifier why it is rectifier because at the input side we, we are applying pure ac wave at the output side you are getting pulsating dc so it is a converter why it is a half wave because this circuit works only for positive half cycle for negative half cycle scr will act as a closed switch 
this is the first circuit if the question is same thing same heading single phase hwcr half wave control rectifier with rl load what will be the change instead of only r we have to add one inductor like this so it is it is rl this is also called inductive load so rl load or inductive load explanation and waveform will remain same now similar to the earlier waveform this scr will be forward bashed uh, during positive hop cycle changes kya kya itna yaad rakhna hai jaise dekho ye pehle ka waveform hai do remember important property of the inductor jaise positive hop cycle mein yahan plus hoga yahan minus hoga yahan pe hum log uh, vg that is gate pulse apply kar rahe so after that conduction starts as we discussed in earlier case conduction will be from alpha to pi but we are using inductor inductor is a storage device and important property of a inductor is whenever scr is conducting it continuously stores the energy at pi the positive half cycle ends negative half cycle starts that means ideally scr should be switched off but the energy which is stored in the inductor will be returned back to the source due to which up to certain stage this uh, there will be continuous conduction of scr i mean to say yahan pi tak waveform dekha hai humne at pi it will not be zero it will continue up to certain time period in the negative half cycle also this is because just now i explained you the concept the energy which is stored in the inductor is returned back to the source as soon as the return back whatever energy which is returned back to the source is uh, existing this conduction will continue once this energy is finished scr will be switched off matlab kuch portion tak ye conduction increase ho jayega so this value is pi plus alpha this is the case uh, as far as this vl output voltage waveform is concerned same thing happens in case of second cycle also because this waveform is repeating now for load current waveform again you need to show it is decreasing it, it it does not become zero at pi so up to pi plus alpha it will continue so this is the corresponding waveform of output current this is the only change for mathematical analysis change will be jaise dekho ye limits kaise decide karne formula remains same limits kaise decide karne now in this case the conduction is from alpha to pi plus alpha so this limit will be alpha to pi pi plus alpha second limit will be again alpha to pi plus alpha remaining all the things are same so this is about single phase half wave controlled rectifier with r and rl load next is midpoint or center tap it is also called m2 fwcr that is full wave controlled rectifier with resistive load this is the corresponding circuit diagram चेंजेस क्या क्या याद रखने दिस इज देंटर टैप ट्रांसफॉर्मर तो सेंटर से कनेक्शन लेके एक लोड ड्रॉ करना है दैट इज आर एंड वील बी यूजिंग टू एस सी आर इंस्टेड ऑफ सिंगल एस सी आर सो एस सी आर वन एंड एस सी आर टू ड्यूरिंग पॉजिटिव हॉफ साइकिल द पोलरिटीज विल बी प्लस माइनस प्लस माइनस सो दिस इज द एनोड टर्मिनल दिस इज कैथोड टर्मिनल सेम वे एनोड टर्मिनल कैथोड टर्मिनल so during positive half cycle this is plus minus that means plus is applied to anode terminal so scr1 will be switched on so look at this diagram everything remains same now scr1 is switched on again it will be conducting from alpha to pi as we discussed earlier so the conduction ends at pi because this is resistive load in the earlier case in case of half wave rectifier we discussed that there won't be any conduction for negative wave for but whenever the negative wave form starts that means i am talking about this wave form from pi to 2 pi then polarities will be minus plus minus plus in that case scr2 will be switched on that means earlier this was scr1 which was turned on now during negative half cycle scr2 will be switched on scr1 will be switched off so during negative half cycle you will be getting conduction of scr2 from pi plus alpha till 2 pi same thing again cycle repeats that means during the next uh, positive half cycle again scr1 starts conducting and so on so you are getting the conduction both in positive and negative half cycle so this is called full wave controlled rectifier about the output wave form 
current waveform again remains same as that of the voltage waveform this is about the r load if load is rl then we know the major change in the diagram we need to connect one inductor and what will be the another change the conduction as far as waveforms are concerned conduction yahan pe pi pe khatam hota hai as we discussed the reason due to inductor action it will continue till pi plus alpha matlab ye waveform aise ho jayega for inductive load for current waveform it will not end at pi it will be continue till this and again it will start continuing like this almost it remains constant almost so this is about the waveform when rl load is concerned next is semi converter or single phase full wave half controlled bridge converter this is the corresponding circuit diagram we are using two scrs scr1 and 2 and these are not scrs these are diodes so this is called a bridge a uh, type of circuit diagram so we are using two scrs and two diodes d1 and d2 which forms a bridge here we are connecting a load rl at the input side like the earlier cases we are applying single phase ac uh, supply now during the positive half cycle these are the corresponding waveforms during the positive half cycle this polarity will be plus this polarity will be minus so during this positive half cycle the flow of current will be like this because scr1 will be turned on because this is anode and this is cathode scr2 will will not be turned on scr1 will be turned on flow of current will be like this through rl and through diode d1 and again back to the source so this is the case during positive half cycle that means during positive half cycle there will be conduction of scr1 and diode d1 during negative half cycle the polarities will be reversed this will be minus this will be plus so during the negative half cycle the conduction will be due to this plus polarity the diode d2 will be forwarded by so current flow of current will be like this through diode d2 then through rl and through scr2 so during negative half cycle that means from pi to 2 pi scr2 and diode d2 will be turned on in this case also whenever negative half cycle starts due to this uh, we are using diode so due to this diode which are acting as a free willing diode we are getting a continuous current till uh, from pi to pi plus alpha again the graph of current will become continuous it will not become zero because we have an inductive load and diode act as a free willing diode but the output voltage waveform will be like this during uh, uh, the interval alpha to pi scr1 and d1 will be on during the interval pi plus alpha to 2 pi scr2 and d2 will be turned on so this is about the semi converter next is single phase fully controlled rectifier with r load it is also called fully controlled bridge converter or bridge rectifier this is the corresponding circuit diagram changes kya kya hai last case mein semi converter mein hum log yahan pe do diodes use kar करते थे इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वी आर यूजिंग फोर एस सी आर एस सी आर वन एस सी आर टू एस सी आर थ्री एंड एस सी आर फोर एज दिडिंग इंडिकेट इट इज आर लोड दैट इज रजिस्टर लोड तो यहां पर लोड रजिस्टर कनेक्ट किया सो ओनली आर इज शो नाउ दीज आर द करस्पॉन्डिंग वेफॉर्म्स वेन पॉजिटिव हब साइकिल स्टार्ट द पोलरिटी विल बी प्लस माइनस ड्यू टू विच दिस एस सी आर वन विल बी फॉरवर्ड बाय सो फ्लो ऑफ करंट विल बी लाइक दिस from this point through scr1 through this resistor r and through scr3 and back to the source so during positive half cycle scr1 and scr3 will be conducting this is the corresponding current waveform voltage and current waveform are, are almost same so you will be getting conduction from alpha to pi as we have discussed the reason in earlier uh, cases now during negative half cycle the polarities will be changed this will be minus this will be plus and in that case the flow of current will be in this case this is plus polarity so flow of current will be from this positive terminal through scr2 because scr2 will be forwarded by us through this resistance r and then through scr4 and back to source so during negative half cycle scr2 and scr4 will be conducting 
सो एज ए सेड दीज आर दोल्टेज वे ऑफ फॉर्म्स यू आर गेटिंग अ कंडक्शन फॉर बोथ पॉजिटिव एज वेल एज फॉर निगेटिव हाफ साइकल्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड फुल वेव कंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ कनेक्शन इज अ ब्रिज सर्किट सो इट इज कॉल्ड अ ब्रिज कन्वर्टर और ब्रिज कंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर ऑफ कोर्स इट इज अ फुल वेव कंट्रोल्ड रेक्टिफायर now this is the case for r load in case of rl load if the patient is same heading single phase fully controlled rectifier with rl load in that case what are the changes here you need to connect one inductor then due to action of inductor everything remains same only change is you need to write the explanation of action of the inductor that inductor stores energy that energy is returned back to the source so During positive half cycle, the conduction will continue up to certain instant. That means up to pi plus alpha. Similarly, during this, the conduction continues from two pi to two pi plus alpha, and so on. Then about the output current, this will not end. This will not become zero at pi. It will be continued till I will draw the, the form like this till this value pi plus alpha. Then again, next cycle starts. it will not uh, become zero at 2 pi this is 2 pi value it will again continue from this point likewise you are going to get the conduction and these are the corresponding waveforms for single phase fully controlled rectifier now we will discuss three phase full converters this is the circuit diagram for three phase full converter we are making use of six scrs 1 2 3 4 5 6 at a time pair of scrs will be conducting for example uh, during the first period during the first interval scr1 and scr5 will be conducting because the do remember the basic sequence it is r y and p so during first interval this scr1 the current flow of current will be like this through scr1 then through load and through scr5 and again to this y connection because it is r to y and in that case whenever scr1 and 5 are conducting corresponding peak voltage will be v r y because it is related to v r and v y likewise the other pairs will be uh, conducting in each interval every interval will be of 60 degree now there are two types of operations two modes of operations uh, if you are talking about the uh, conduction angle alpha if alpha is less than 60 degree it is called continuous mode of operation and if alpha is greater than uh, 60 degree it is called greater than or equals to 60 degree it is called discontinuous mode of operation इसके वेबफॉर्म्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वो टाइम कंज्यूमिंग है इसलिए मैं यहाँ पे कवर नहीं कर रहा हूँ बट आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो एज पर एज दिस वेबफॉर्म्स ऑफ थ्री फेसफुल कन्वर्टर्स आर कंसर्न प्लीज डू वॉच दैट वीडियो सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स इट फॉर क्विक रिविजन ऑफ एसी टू डीसी पॉवर कन्वर्टर्स सो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर यूर एग्जाम थैंक यू थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो